Pistol Whip was made in 2019 by Cloudhead Games for PC. It is a virtual reality game which supports the HTC, Oculus, Valve and Microsoft platforms. A PlayStation VR version is currently under development. Besides obviously being a VR first person shooter, the game features a strong emphasis on rhythm. The score for hitting a target is dependent on how well the player is shooting on beat. The whole world pulses in beat and so does the pistol. Several aids to synchronize with the rhythm, such as a force feedback metronome, can be enabled. The musical score falls into the genre of electronica and more precisely dubstep. It was supplied by Cannibalen Records. While shooting enemies, the player also dodges slowly approaching projectiles and avoids obstacles. The game encourages a lot of movement from the player, especially on the higher difficulties. With the default settings, the player has a shield which absorbs one single hit, but restores over time. The rod whip in the title of the game comes from a melee mechanic. Enemies can be slapped with the pistol if they are close by. Slapping enemies restores the shield and refills the magazine. Reloading is otherwise done by shaking the controller. A slew of available options enables a wide variety of playstyles. The game is a lot of fun, even if the player isn't musical and struggles to shoot on beat. On default, an aim assistant is enabled, which considers all shots close to the target as a hit. When this assistant is switched off, the game plays much like a light gun game. When using the so-called lighthouse technology, the motion tracking is very precise, which allows the player to use the in-game iron sights. For players which don't have a lot of space available or are restricted in their ability of movement, the obstacles can be turned off. If the player solely seeks a flashy neon shooting drill, the game can be set up so that the enemies won't fire back or that the player is invincible. Furthermore, there are several fun options such as a dedicated akimbo mode. Other options allow the player to tinker with the user interface, allowing to display a slew of metrics or to reduce everything to a minimalist view. A wide variety of guns is available, most of which are inspired by real-world firearms. The appearance of the guns can be heavily customized by applying colors and textures. Luckily, the developers listened to customer feedback and introduced some guns with well visible iron sights, which is helpful for people who are using low resolution VR headsets. Pistol Whip supports the mixed reality software Live, which enables people to put themselves into gameplay videos. A whole option segment is dedicated to mixed reality. As of making this video, 13 levels are available, not counting the training level. Black Magic has a Hong Kong vibe to me. It features busy streets and warehouses. The grave has many church and graveyard elements to it. Are You Afraid is much more surreal. It has large statues and floating faces. Revelations features rooftops, bars and nightclubs, but also shows office-like environments. Lilith has many elements of a western city. Both rooftops and streets are represented. Trap Requiem takes the player into a museum. Replicants has a science fiction theme and takes place in a factory. Download the Future is a futuristic city which reminds me a lot of the Deus Ex series. Death has a Mexico theme, showing lots of calaveras, which are fancy skulls shown at Dia de Muertos. The fall puts the player on a very narrow rail, which seems to be floating high in the sky. The High Priest is a level which puts lots of emphasis on the slapping mechanic. It takes place in a gorgeous temple. Akuma is Japan themed and reminds me a lot of Tokyo. 
Full Throttle was inspired by the Mad Max movies, but to me it has a middle or even far east flair. Personally I love Pistol Whip. It was the sole reason for me to go into VR. I enjoy the game the most if I disable the aim assistant and set the difficulty down to easy. Then I try to go for maximal precision without caring too much for the rhythm. This way the game is a frantic shooting drill. As of making this review, Cloudhead Games is still putting out updates for the game. At least three additional levels are planned. I decided not to wait and to make my review now to increase the awareness of this game to allow people to send their feedback into the game Steam community hub. So far, Cloudhead Games did a tremendous job listening to customer suggestions and implemented quite a few of them. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.